Good evening and salutations, my days of our lives. Now, here's the thing. Days of our lives right now is my favorite soap opera. Out of the four, it's my favorite soap opera. Now, with all these shows and all, you know, these soap operas, and shows just in general, there's times where you have to follow a certain level of logic. No matter how stupid it is, you have to follow it. In order for it to make sense. Maggie telling Sarah that. You're blowing. That I think that you're blowing this out of proportion. Was like. What? <clears throat> this man literally kidnapped two women. And you know. One of them's dead. But somehow she said. And I think that you're blowing this out of proportion. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that she married Victor. Victor's the type of person, he just does whatever she whatever he wants. And for the most part, she just kinda accepts it. Now she may say she doesn't like it, but she still accepts it. And she accepts it out of quote unquote love. And she wants her daughter that if he if she loves him. To just accept it. Now she tries to put a different spin on it. Like yeah well you know. You gotta fight until you can't fight no more. And this that and the third. But in reality come on. Come on let's, 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 let's just be honest about this for a minute. You, you're literally sitting there saying. Well I know that he kidnapped this person. Or these two people. But you know there, there's reasons why he might have did it. And you know if you still love him. You know you owe it to yourself to work it out. To work it out with a kidnapper. Now, the, the thing that, that, that's so laughable in this situation with two characters in the show is that you knew exactly who you were, who you were with. You chose this mess. You chose this mess. And what you, you know, what Sarah thought that, oh, her love was going to sit there and somehow change him? How many times has he done dirt before? How many times have you sat there? And forgiving him. I've been watching this show for maybe about since what? Um maybe three years so far now. When I started watching the show, I used to sit there and call her hot Sarah, right? And you know, this is with the whole baby switch and everything like that, and eventually she wound up forgiving Xana for that, right? And then they were gonna get married. Xander did what he did as far as blowing up Nicole and Luck, um, I'm about to call him Lucky, um, Eric's marriage, right? She was upset and she left him again. But then she forgiven him. She finds out that he kidnaps two women. I'm like, at some point, come on, boo. What is it, just the fact that Chad isn't, well, actually, tell you, I don't, I don't know. The, the problem with this show is that the bloodlines are so close together. But I'm just like, you know, Chad, Chad is single. Chad is single. And this way he doesn't have to sit there and find all sorts of excuses and reasons to constantly spend time with Stephanie. Um, like, how many times are you going to sit there and forgive him? So she comes over there. She's like, I don't trust you. And I'm not going to lie to the cops. And it's most likely I'm going to sit there and divorce you. And then walks out. I was like, why did you even walk in there for? Why did you walk in there just to walk out? You could have just texted him for that. Oh, I'm not going to stay here. Oh, you're not going to stay here. Not going to stay here. Okay. All right. And uh, the, the purpose of this visit was exactly what? Um, and that's, you know, going in a wraith, the other person I'm talking about. So that they're looking at the divorce papers, feeling all sorry and sad. And I was like, bro, you know exactly who you're getting with. You knew exactly who you're getting with. Okay? You knew Nicole for years. You knew her track record even before she became on your radar. Okay? And when you were dating Ava, she went after you. She did not care. She went after you. You know, it's like you, you knew exactly who we were dealing with. So this whole pep talk with Jada, oh, you know, I know what it was like, and, you know, don't beat yourself up. You're not a failure, this, that, and the third. And he talked about his three failed marriages. And I'm just like, 
Alright, I don't I don't know about those other women. So I can't I can't attest to that, but come on now. He knows exactly who Nicole was. Alright, it is what it is. Now after Bonnie and Justin left Xander, um you know, they, they, they go to Rafe and it's like, yo, listen, um, Xander did this and I, I want you to arrest him. I want you to arrest him. They're like, we can't do anything without proof. So they go and they talk to Gwen and Leo. And long story short, Leo was like, yo, listen, you need to let that go with Xander. He's going to go down and he's going to pull you right along with him. And, you know, at this point, you know, Leo's like, yo, listen, he's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, he's still going to choose Sarah over you. So all of this, all of this, oh, I need to go help him. No, 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 no. You need to sit there and look out for yourself. That's what you That's what you need to do. You need to sit there and look out for yourself. I don't know what's going on with my eyebrows today. Um, you need to sit there and look out for yourself. So they come. They question them. Jada and um, Rafe question Gwen with Leo there. And, of course, she doesn't say anything. Um, now the last thing I'm going to sit there and talk about, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking at this whole thing when I was like, when you have done, you have done some really terrible things, but I'm like, well, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I sit there and I look at these three, Xander, Sarah, and Gwen, and I'm like, you know, listen, I don't do the whole coupling thing, but I'm like, you're much better off with a woman like Gwen than you will ever be with a woman like Sarah. And I don't understand this whole Sarah tiptoeing, oh, I still love him, and, you know, making it seem like she still wants to sit there and try it, and she goes over there and she's like, oh, I'm not going to stay, and there's a good chance I may divorce you. So um, if I do, I'm going to have to sit there and tell the cops the truth. Okay, Sarah, it was a great talk with you. Um, now, Stephanie is upset with Alex because she's like, yo, listen, I'm not property. I'm not property. Don't sit there and start telling me who I can and can't say. I, I get that. But, you know, Alex is sitting there laying down some facts like, yo, listen, he might not even be doing it on purpose, but he may be sitting there taking advantage of you. He's lonely and stuff like that. And he even says, yo, listen, I didn't even want to have him over for Christmas. But I'm not going to sit there and kick him out. And it's just, it's not a good look. It's not a good feeling. I'm not going to do that. And he also says that, you know, there's a good chance that he still has feelings for her. And that she could be leading him on. Not intentionally, but she could be doing that. Now, she's all like, oh, I'm going to do what I want. He's my friend, yada, 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 yada. The thing that really irritates me about Stephanie is that if roles were reversed, she would be upset. She would be jealous. If he decided to start spending some time with Sloan, even if it was just on, on some friendship, she would be upset. If he decided to sit there and hang out with anyone else, and start spending a lot of time, she'll be upset. But yet she's sitting there chastising for this man for actually sitting there laying down some facts about like, yo, listen, I get it, their family, your family and everything like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is that Stephanie does not respect Alex's feelings. You know, she wants to sit there and get all angry and stuff like that, like he's not respecting her feelings, but I'm like, in reality, you're also not respecting his feelings. Like, you're dating this man, but you don't, you know, he's clearly bothered by this, and you seem like, oh, I'm just going to do what I want. So I'm looking at this whole thing, I'm like, Alex, you know what? Listen, you might want to sit there and just take a couple of steps back from Stephanie. Do a little work thing or whatever, and just kind of just distance yourself from her. Because... If the person you're dating is having an issue with you seeing somebody else a certain amount of time, at the very least, listen to respect that. Don't just sit there and just start going off on that person. Now, she goes and she talks to Chad, and, you know, Chad's like, hey, you know, I don't want to be a burden, just stand third. And she's like, no, it's cool, we're just friends. And he's like, oh, we're more than friends, we're family. And I get there, I get their connection, you know, um, Abigail was her cousin, you know, her children wanted to spend time with her that day. But, you know, there's a fine line between working and constantly finding reasons to see each other outside the office. You know? Um, like I said, it's like, after a while, I was like, yo, bro, I was just sitting there and just take a step back. 
Let's take it. Take a step back, because he's all like, "Oh well, either he's going to accept or he won." Okay, cool. I guess. I guess it go both ways then. And he stops Smith there taking her out to those romantic dinners and doing all this nice stuff for her. Then she'd be like, "Oh, maybe he's not there," you know. Like she'll sit there and get upset. Like, well, well how come you didn't see me this day? How, like, it just, it's, ugh. I'm not going to lie. I kind of can't stand women like that. I, I get where she's coming from to a certain perspective. But, you know, if she wants respect, she has to give it herself. She doesn't seem like she really is is comprehending that, you know what, maybe I should take his, his feelings into account the next time I decide to play a hooky or the next time he asks me to go with him roller skating or wherever with his kids. Maybe I sit there and think how that looks while I'm dating this person and how this person may feel. Anyway, I'm not going to lie. I feel like that's pretty much about it. Um, I can't really think of too, too many other things that really happened in this episode for the most part. I think I pretty much kind of covered it for the most part. So yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe, and I will see you in the next video.